guys, here we are to do um, the math section for Wednesday, April 22nd. And again, this will say math boxes preview for unit five at the top or lesson four dash 12. Um, for the first part, it might be helpful to have your 120 grid that we uh, sent home with you. So you might want it, you might not need it, but I'm going to go ahead and reference that as I go through this. So what we are doing is we are looking for the missing number in each of these, okay? So we have blank plus 78 equals 88, 62 plus 10 equals blank, 54 plus blank equals 64, and blank plus 10 equals 19, okay? So we'll do a couple of these together and then I'll leave you to do the other ones, okay? So we have some number that goes here plus 78 is gonna get us to 88, okay? So on my number grid, I can start at 78, okay? And I know that I'm gonna add some number to that to get me up to 88. Well, if I'm at 78 and I need to get up to 88, I can see that I can either count by ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had to go up 10 to get to 88. Or when I look at 78, I know that to get to 88, I just need to jump down one row and each time I jump down one row, I know that that is a jump of 10. So I just need to add 10 to go from 78 to 88. So over here, I know that I had 78 and I need to add 10 more and that will give me the 88 that I'm looking for. Okay, this one I think you can do 54. How many do you need to go up to get to 64? So we're gonna go ahead and do this one here, another one where we're missing that first number. So I have something plus 10 equals 19. Well, let me go ahead and start at the 10 that I do know, okay? I know that I'm at 10 here and I know that I need to get to 19. Well. 10's here, 19's down there. So I'm, I can't just do a jump down because that's not where I need to end up at. So I'm at 10 and I know that I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to get to 19, okay? So I had to go 9 to get myself to 19, okay? So I want you to try to do those other two. Over here, we have part, part total. Okay, we did this not that long ago. I bought an orange for 42 cents and an apple for 20 cents. How much did I spend? Now we wanna think about that as how much did I spend all together? So remember, part, part total is a place where we can add a part, have a part, plus add another part, and what is our total? So we wanna think about this as we are adding these two numbers together. I'm gonna let you figure that one out. If you need to use your number grid, you can go ahead and do that. Draw the coins you would need to buy a toy car for 85 cents, okay? So that's where you might want to get out if you ever made one or you can draw one, a little cheat sheet, sorry, I had to reach for mine, of how, what the coins are worth, okay? So you wanna draw the coins that you would need to buy a toy car for 85 cents. Now. Your coins might like to look different than mine, okay? What you, the nut coins you use could be different, okay? But I want you to find some combinations of coins that adds up to 85 cents, okay? Now, we're going to add some numbers. We have 100 plus 100. I think you can figure that out. Now, we have 100 plus something is gonna give us 159. Now, our number grid only goes up to 120, so this isn't gonna help us here. So we need to think, well, I had 100, okay? Now, I had no 10s and no 1s. Well, when I look over here, I still have my 100, but now I have my 10s and I have a 10s place and a 1s place. I have a five in the tens place and a nine in the ones place. So I still have that hundred that I had before, but this, this five in the tens place and the nine in the ones place was added. So I know that I had to add 59 to get myself from 100 up to 159. Now, this is kind of one of our backwards ones. We have a missing number. Something plus 200 is gonna give us 300, okay? They just put our answer first. So. If I have 200, what do I need to add to that to get me up to 300? Okay, give that one a try and see what you come up with, okay? 
Now, I have a number, and then when I added 100, I got 165. Well, here's that 100 that I added, but that 100 had no 10s and no 1s. So what did I have to add to get myself up to 165? Or sorry, what did I start with that when I added that 100, I added that 100, there's the 100 I added, what did I have to start with that when I added that 100, it gave me 165? Give that one a try. Those can be a little bit tricky, okay? Natalia sold 25 books at her garage sale on Saturday. She sold 15 more on Sunday. How many did she sell in all? Well, start, change, end, okay? She started with 25. Our change is the 15 more that she sold. And our end is how many she sold all together. So for our number model, I'll go ahead and do the number model with you and then I'll have you guys do the answer on our own. So it pretty much gives us our number model right here. We started with 25, we added 15, and our answer is what? Okay, so you go ahead and solve for that question mark and you fill in your answer down here. Then, an eraser costs 70 cents. Jack pays with three quarters. How much change does he get? Fill in the bubble next to the correct amount of change. So remember, if we look at our little cheat sheet, quarters are 25 cents. So he paid with three quarters. How much is that? but the eraser costs 70 cents. So how much more did he pay that he would get back in change? So I'm gonna have you go ahead, pause the video to do your work. If there's anything you're not sure of, go ahead and wait and you can fill it in when we do it together. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go over the answers now for the rest of the math boxes that we didn't do. So up here we did a couple of them together but I left the other two for you to do on your own. So um, 62 plus 10 is 72. So again, if I find 62 on here and I know that I can add 10 by jumping down, it puts me at 72. 54 plus blank equals 64. Well, I knew that I just had to make that jump 